What is going on everyone? Trust the buzz here if you're new to the channel. I make Charlotte Hornets content, so if that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We've already passed the 1,000 threshold. Let's shoot for 5K. I don't know when we're gonna get it, but let's shoot for that. If you cannot tell by the thumbnail title of this video, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about LaMelo LaFrance Ball getting his extension. Now, I know for all the people who want LaMelo in LA and New York so bad, yes, his extension does not necessarily mean he will stay in Charlotte for all five years or whatever the extension is. However, as a Charlotte Hornets fan, you're just happy to see that it happened. You knew it was going to happen. You heard rumors that it was going to happen as soon as it was available. Uh, we saw Desmond Bain get paid last night. We saw Tyrese Halliburton get paid last night. And then roughly today, I was at Target, so I don't really know, remember what time it was. But we saw LaMelo Ball get paid. Now, the extension, it was like five years, $200 million, up to $260 million. So I know a lot of people are seeing it's five years, two sixty, million, which is roughly like $50 million per year. That's not true. I mean, there's incentives to make it 260. So it's up to 260, but the base pay is five years, 207, 208 million. So I'm happy about it. I'm just happy that the Charlotte Hornets are officially putting all their faith into LaMelo Ball. Now, what do they got to do to continue to help him, you know, reach his heights, reach his goals, reach his aspirations? Well, the first thing they got to do is get some talent around him. We still have PJ, who's technically not signed. He's still on a qualifying offer. Miles Bridges, still technically not signed on a qualifying offer. And that bothers me, but I'm going to talk about that in another video that I'm going to record literally after this one. But as far as just the extension, I mean, LaMelo's worth every penny. He's brought vibrancy to the city of Charlotte. I know people were kind of concerned of what what would happen after Kimball Walker. There was the Devontae Graham, which stuff I wasn't buying, but it was a good like bridge until now we have a mellow. Now we just need him to stay healthy. But if you're a small market team like the Charlotte Hornets or mid-sized market, because that's really where Charlotte is, I think Charlotte's success makes them seem more of a small market team than they really are. They're actually a mid-market, but if you're a mid-market team, you have to keep your players. You do not get players like that that often. We're not LA. We're not New York. We're not Chicago. I know even the Spurs have kind of, you know, even though they're a mid-market technically based on just the city and location and whatnot, they have parachute. Well, they have yeah parachuted themselves into this upper echelon where people do want to go to San Antonio. When San Antonio is good, people want to go there. They just so happen to be down right now, which, you know, two decades of being good. I mean, what's a couple years of being down and you just got Wimby, but we're not those teams. When you are not those teams, you have to hold on to the talent. Even if I'm not saying the Charlotte Hornets don't believe in LaMelo Ball, but I just saw a lot of people saying, what has he deserved? What has he done to deserve that money? You sometimes it's not even about that. Sometimes it's about we, we don't know when we're going to get another player like this. I'd rather just hold on to him. And if at worst we end up trading him, then it is what it is. But at least we can we know we would get something back. And if he forces himself out, we still get something in return. So I'm just glad to have it. I'm glad LaMelo's here. I'm pretty sure the city of Charlotte's glad he's here. I'm pretty sure all the fans, the front office, everyone glad is that LaMelo signed that extension. I mean, one, who's going to turn down the money? But two, it was just. The way things go for Charlotte, simple stuff like that that you are pretty sure that should happen and is going to happen, you just don't feel like it's going to happen just because of how often we are let down as Charlotte Hornets fans. Like, we are being let down in free agency because Dennis Smith Jr. is now officially a Brooklyn Net, which, like I said, I'll talk about that in the video after. But overall, I'm happy with Melo's extension. I mean, it's basically what Tyrese Halliburton got paid, which I think they're very much the same. I think that Melo's injury has hurt him in terms of him surpassing Tyrese Halliburton. I think they're kind of like on the same tier. I wouldn't necessarily they say they're neck and neck, but they're on the same tier. I think if Lamelo continues to be healthy, I, I mean, I think he's the better player. But but in saying that, Tyrese Halliburton is a hell of a player as well. It's not just, oh, LaMelo's that much better or whatever the case may be. They're both really great point guards, and I think they're going to be great point guards for the future of the NBA. But and now it's time. Now it's time. You got your star locked up. The the deal for him doesn't kick in until next year, obviously. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do this year to take advantage of I guess him on his rookie contract? What are you going to do? I, I mean, this is the year if you're going to do it. Like I said, I, I if you're the Hornets, you're the organization, the temperature around the organization is we just want to make the playoffs. I don't feel like it's that difficult. So what can you do to help this team reach the playoffs? Teams around us are getting a lot better. So Charlotte needs to be on their stuff. If they, you've already got LaMelo. That, that, to me, that was like the number one thing you needed to do. Now let's do the things around that in order to help LaMelo be worth every single penny he I mean he got he's going to get we got to do whatever we can to help him you know 
to make the contract worth it. Because Lamelo can ball out, but if no one's there to help him, it, it hurts him in a way as well. When you know, if you if you think about it like that, not hurt his pockets at any. I mean, not at all. But it just hurt. It hurts like his perception because people see that if the team sucks, like for example, people say now, what has he done? Like people who are not fans of the Hornets, what has Lamelo done to earn his money? Well. He's done a lot. It's just the, the the people around him have not really been the best of help. He hasn't he hasn't gotten much help. The one person that was truly helping him ruined tried to ruin his life last uh, I won't say semester last offseason. So it it's not all on Lamelo, even though the injuries and then you know uh, the playing uh, appearances have not been well. Uh, but still, Lamelo. I'm just glad he's here. I, I just can't wait to see what kind of player he turns into. I think this extension was just big. This, this was the number one priority. I'm not even going to lie. This was more important than any free agent we're getting. You got to lock him up, but now it's time to you know put the game in gear just because the Pistons aren't getting better. Uh, the Magic are getting better. The Cavs are getting better. Even though the Cavs are already better than us, it's just they're creating more of a gap with all the moves they're making. The Heat might get Dame Lillard. The Hawks got Ty Ty uh, Washington and Usman Garuba, who are just good depth pieces or good young depth pieces, who I think both are talented guys. It's just a lot of things going on around the Charlotte Hornets, and the Charlotte Hornets are kind of steel. Even the Wizards have made moves to where they're just not going to be an easy out. I don't think they're better than the Hornets. They're just not going to be an easy out. So we just got to continue to get better. But the, first, the most important thing to do was to resign LaMelo. Let me know what you think of the deal down in the comment section below. Um, bump Twitter because Twitter is just being a mess right now because Elon put that like rate limit crap on there. So it's really hard to keep up with a lot of information. But let me know what you think of the LaMelo extension down below. And let me know if some moves you think the Hornets should make. I know, you know, bring back Miles, bring back PJ or two big ones but what else should they do because we need a backup point guard now uh but yeah let me know what you think down in the comment section below and i'm about to record this another video so i'll see you guys in that video peace